In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome to the baccalaureate mass of the class of 2020 of Bishop Hinault Catholic High School. I know it's a little different this year. Uh, we're celebrating this remotely both in terms of space and time. But nonetheless, we are with one another in spirit and in faith. I'm here with chaplain of Bishop Minot, Father Tom Nelson, and representatives of the graduating class who will be helping us at this mass. And so my sisters and brothers, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us place ourselves before God's loving mercy and ask the Lord for pardon and peace. Lord Jesus, you are the way, the truth, and the life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, you made your people partakers in your redemption. Grant, we pray, that we may perpetually render thanks for the resurrection of the Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with hearts of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive any complaint you may have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues, put on love, which is the bond of perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts for to this you were called as members of one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ rich, richly dwell within you, as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom, and as you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do it in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father, through him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God.
And the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. This, then, is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from, e from the evil one. For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm sad that the class of 2020 is not having the same kind of graduation events that we normally celebrate here at Bishop and Oak High School. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed all our lives, disrupting our routines, forcing us to change plans and challenging us to do new things to adjust. But we're still going to honor you graduates as best we can for you deserve it. We congratulate you on your accomplishments and wish you the best as you start a new chapter in your life. One of the big lessons of life is the necessity to adjust to the unexpected twists and turns that we encounter. The COVID-19 pandemic is one of these. It posed a challenge to our high school as it did for most of the schools throughout our country. And Bishop Minogue responded in two important ways, resourcefulness and resilience. Resourcefulness. When it was clear that we could not have in-person classes, the high school mobilized immediately to online learning. This required everybody, faculty, staff, students, parents, and families to make huge adjustments. We had to teach and learn in new ways. We had to pull together and make sacrifices. We had to find ways to support and encourage one another. In some cases, we had to develop new skills and also to awaken dormant talents. We did all of this so that you could continue learning and graduate meeting the standard requirements. We accomplished much in a difficult situation because we were resourceful. If you are resourceful when you meet obstacles in life, then you can be resilient. Resilience is vital. When we are down, we get up. When everything seems dark and gloomy, we look for the ray of light to show us the way. When all seems hopeless, we don't give up. This is resilience. We could have responded to the challenge of COVID-19 by letting disappointment, anger, and frustration take hold of us. We could have just become bored and lack any will to do something and learn. But we didn't give in to negativity because it gets us nowhere. If we want to move beyond the obstacles we face in life, we can do it with resourcefulness and resilience. A shining lesson of resilience comes from our faith in Jesus Christ. When we started our social distancing, staying at home for school, we were in the season of Lent and then that of Easter. It's a time of year when the church commemorates Christ's passion, death, and resurrection. 
his death and rising from the dead gives us hope and shines the light for us. Now, whenever we suffer events that could crush or defeat us, or even death itself, Jesus can raise us to new life. The message of the gospel is the way of resilience throughout the journey of our lives. God's grace will be there to help us. Resourcefulness and resilience. Perhaps these were the last two lessons you learned here at Bishop Minogue. You have what it takes to move on. Be resourceful to use the gifts you have received and be resilient when you face it and encounter challenges and obstacles. And you will go far, believe me. We now bring our prayers to the Lord, trusting in God's mercy and goodness. God, our loving parent, who gives us comfort and hope, we pray to you as we prepare to begin the next chapter of our lives. Watch over us and protect us in whatever we do. We trust that in your love, you will hear our prayers. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, we pray for our parents that they continue to guide and nurture us as we grow and may they know how much we love and appreciate them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God of hope, we pray that we, the graduating class of 2020, may have the courage to share our gifts with those who need them. May we be free to shape a future of peace and justice for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Gentle God, we pray for our friends who have shared with us over these many years all the laughter, tears, heartaches, and happiness, that they may know how much we love them and cherish them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Healing God, we pray for the sick of our community and for all our friends and relatives who are ill. Help them to feel your healing presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of compassion, we pray for those in our families and in our school and parish community who have died and are now in God's presence forever. Teach us to be comforters of one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We trust in your compassion, O Lord, and so we call upon you to hear these our prayers we make in the name of your Son, Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen.
things that we come from as our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time of all, of all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your name, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Randolph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forget those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace, with peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty, ever-living God, you restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ. Increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of the saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. And thank all who have helped prepare this taped mass. Uh, we, it was, it was, I should say, it was wonderful to have the some of the graduates here because I make some connection. It's so hard to look out at a virtually empty chapel and try to connect. So thank you for being here and congratulations. Tell your classmates, thank you for all you did and, and the best to you in your life. God bless you. And let's give them a hand of applause for their class. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. <laughs>